Not working. Put the back. So yeah. these are just shallots. Uh, banana shallots. Yeah. Banana shallots chopped. Yeah. Then 300 grams of lobster oil. So use all the trim or the shell trimmings. Oh, lobster oil. And how do yeah. you? Is that that's literally just from stock that you've made from the lobster? Uh, yeah. Um, basic. Uh, there's uh, carrot, celery, leaf, lemongrass, garlic, ginger. Wow. Uh, sauteed off. The lobster shells roasted in the oven. A little bit of uh, tomato puree, and then just infused slowly on the stove with olive oil and just a touch of uh, vegetable. And it vegetable just, oil, and it just, just sets. To, yeah. The, the olive oil sits in the fridge. Oh. This is just a little bit of garlic and ginger you're using yeah, in it. Ground ginger. Is it traditional to use garlic and ginger in them, or is it? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. It smells fantastic. So you're really just going to poach the uh, shallots in the in the oh, lobster yeah. oil? Yeah, just wet them so they you know no colour on them. And put that in the there. Just gently poach it on the side. Right. And how long has that been sweating for? About five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. And that's colour. been going for about 10 minutes now. About 10 minutes, yeah. So, so you haven't really yet taken any colour into the shallots, you've not really infused them with the soften them up. Yeah, soften them up and start to infuse the flavours. And how many ramekins would you make of um, with this amount? I think 38. 38. That's 2 kilos of. So you just squeeze out a lot of the moisture from the shrimp? Yeah. Otherwise I guess it's, it's too wet. And too wet. Run it. Give it a stir. Chopped tarragon. Lots of chopped tarragon. Lovely. Yeah. Beautiful flavour. And then, magic ingredient. Most difficult to come by. It's the ground mace. mace. Yeah. Which is the classic ingredient really, isn't it? Yeah. Then? Yeah. It's of potted shrimp. Very difficult to come by. So Why is it so difficult to come by? It's not available. been available this year, so keep it under lock and key. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, you absolutely have to. I didn't realise it was so. You have to bake, steal, and borrow to get it. The uh, Well, particularly the, the amount you must use. Yeah. Right, so that's just 16 grams for 2 kilos of shrimp. But I would have thought lots of people are producing nutmeg, so how come you. Unless. Plenty of salt. Salt, yeah. And ground white pepper. About 24. Presumably this recipe hasn't changed for quite some time. Hey! Twenty-four twists of pepper garlic. That's black pepper. White. White pepper. Black pepper yeah. mm -hmm. You only use white pepper in the kitchen. No black pepper. Why is that? It's much more subtle, less harsh flavour. Mm -hmm. so, we're getting ready for the potted shrimp. Yeah. yeah. 
and these the proper shrimp that we made earlier. So they've yeah. just been resting. They've just been in the, in the fridge. fridge. Yeah. Potted them. So do you, pot them for the next day. Do you just put them, them, them in the ram uh, you put them in the ring with stainless steel ring. With the lobster butter that we talked about yeah. earlier. Yeah. We'll do it after lunch we'll I'll put some up with you so you can see exactly how we do it. So sure. And because they're quite rich, you don't need to be serving a, a huge portion of them, do you? No, no. Because they are so rich. Yeah. And just the house leaves just slightly mixed with the salad. Sorry, I just something on the side. And just to finish the plate, a twist of pepper. Uh -huh. Yeah. 